The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or Comcast. MATV welcomes your comments. Call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. <laughs> oh, Feedback. Turn something down. Oh, it's this. Yeah. TV. I don't know why it was up. I never turned it up. Well, I guess we're on the air there, Nesta. Well, almost. There you go. Now we are. All right, we're on the air. We got the Celtics versus the Sonics. The Sonics fell yesterday. They are 0 1. The Celtics did not play. This is the 20 ought 5 season, as you call it. 20 ought 5 there. And uh, I don't know if we have a barn burner, but we sure got a whole lot of meat out there on the court. How many pounders of beefage did you say it was there? 750. 750 pounds of beefage down low on the, the Sonic squad. The front court for the Sonic. Well, I don't see who are we missing here. Oh, we're missing Peterson St. Jean of the Sonics. Not here. He's the other. Oh, he's the other five. Beefage. Yeah. He's about 250, 300. Well, I gotta early, pull out my Ross's red. Early score, Pierre Luis. Nick. That's... Okay, yeah, we're gonna struggle a little bit in the beginning. So we apologize for any problems with the names. Right behind they has the rosters. The the Luis Sanchez flies right in the lane. Magic will be looking for a travel. But <laughs> hey, he was, hey, Costa got an early smile there. That's referee Costa. I actually got a chance to wish Costa a happy new year this year. Well, that's good. Can he invite you over for some shrimp? No, oh, no, no, no. Maybe that'll be the uh, 2000 art season. Yeah. We got a bounce there by Nick Kelly. Got the shooter's roll. Down to 20 arc, 60. Nicky Gibson there, Brad, is going with the low cut. That he is. And the droopy draw is showing his underwear. Should be a foul in itself. It should. <laughs> Anybody who wears droopy draw should be taken out of the game. I don't know about basketball, but I know, but I know in baseball when they have their shirt in tucked in. Ah, uh, referee a little confusing there. I don't know what. What happened? Brad, why did he call out of bounds? I don't know how it was out of bounds. Yeah, but hit the backboard. Yeah, it wasn't out of bounds. I, that that is. <laughs> God knew. God knew on that one. Celtic ball. Went off the backboard, Celtics caught it, gave it back to the Sonics, goes back to the Celtics. We're all settled now. Charamella, he's already got one basket, make it two. And the boy needs a haircut. He does need a trim. He lost a few poundage, but he gained hair. Right, you could always give him a trim, you know. I could, I've been known to dabble with the Clippers. Yeah, even though he made my, my wicked on but that's okay. I couldn't tell. The Charamella doing that. I looked. I tried. He's safe. I had a fit. Doing the yeah. Pete Rose. Thank you. Anyway, though. It was a quick do. I, we were low on time. That's true. Can we get a grip? Please. I did say I'd fix it after. Uh-huh. I did say I'd fix it after, but we both had to get out of there. The Celtics going into that Laker box. We got Kelly, we got McKenzie, we got Luis, we got Chris Jackson and Sanchez for the Sonics. Going with Charamella, Chevelli, Joe Armstrong, Iggy Gibson, and number 23 of the Celtics, which would be Bobby Skane. Bobby Skane. He's on the court for the Celtics. I got everybody but him. And he's shooting a three. And he's short. 
Robert Skane, first year sophomore. He's tall, playing guard. Actually, Joe Armstrong has no idea where he is on the court. He was covering McKenzie, who was out in three-point land. Now, I don't know why. From this angle here, Brad and Govef go there. That ball looked like that the Sonic knocked the ball out. I didn't really see that. I was, trying to, like to me that I was trying to figure out where Joe Armstrong was, was going. I wasn't monitor, concerned with the ball. I was looking at the monitor and it was tough to tell on the monitor. Personally, I was still trying to figure Joe out Armstrong's how Joe Armstrong is my that favorite this year. Whistle I don't care what anyone says. And, and I, I just I, want to say I, one everybody thing. Everybody went quiet on that one. Nobody knew what was going on there. Andy, you're in the way. As usual. I want to say one thing. I want to welcome back a true green, a true Celtic. Bobby Blundell's in the house. He's here rooting on his team. And if he tries to slip on a jersey, I'm charging the court. He gutted the Kings. I don't want him back. And what, you're talking, King. And what you're talking about return of Brad, Alan Omondi, who I do not believe was a starter last year, certainly is continuing that role not starting this year. Correct. But Brian Santos, who was a starter two seasons ago, has not, has not started today. No. Disciplinary action. But on the other Why hand, is Brian and Alan not starting tonight? Conduct unbecoming of a Celtic. Like I said, conduct unbecoming of a Celtic. Conduct unbecoming of a Celtic? Correct. <laughs> Disciplinary. If he didn't say it, I would have gave it a go, ref, go, and take, there's your catchphrase. That was conduct unbecoming. But Magic took it. Sanchez going in the hole. No roll. Mackenzie to Jackson, who short rims it. Joe Armstrong screaming. Jackson now, got that rebound, Brad, and he jumped. I, I do have one thing to say. I did speak with Joe Armstrong yesterday. He told me he's dropping 10 to 15 oh. points and a minimum 11 rebounds. Today? Today. 10 to 15 points and 11 rebounds minimum. If I was him, I would settle for playing for 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> that's true. But that's what he told me, 10 to 15 points and at least 11 rebounds. See, Iggy Gibson picks up where he left off in his free throws last season. He missed? Yes. Oh, I didn't like, I didn't see, I just took a guess. Yep, that both of them. Missed them both. Wearing the low-cut sneakers, not tied. And again, Ash, ashy calves. Ooh, that's bad. You can miss your free throws, but you better put some lotion you on. Put some lo I got some lotion up here. Do you? Go oh, I got my up here. Chris Jackson. Hoop in the hum. Chris Jackson hacked in the act. Hoop in the hum. It's, it took him three seasons, but he realized that, hey, I can score if I put in a little bit of an effort. He's already got eight this year. Eight this Another year. 12 more. He equals his high. Again, does anyone know where Joe Armstrong is today? <laughs> Bobby Blundell's trying to signal him. I don't know if he's giving him the bird or saying he's number one, but he was signaling him. Yeah, coming from Blundell, he was giving him the bird. Yeah, he's, he's Newland Street. Yeah, yeah. He, he represents the bricks. That was, oh. Adrian McKenzie, where he was supposed to be, draws a foul. Uh-oh, Joe Armstrong took off the headband. It's over. He's ready to light it up. He said he might even dunk. We might have to check that ace bandage there, go ref go. He could have a foreign object in there. Watch. Joe Armstrong. Gonna, that's how he's gonna score. He's got a blade under that ace bandage. He's gonna cut people. The Nux, he's, he's I'm gonna get the he's, he's gonna do Look a William Regal. I'm that counting him. Yeah, yeah. Armstrong went beast. He wants the ball. Armstrong! Well, he got the rebound. If Sanchez did. If Sanchez didn't foul him, Armstrong was going to travel because Lord knows he wasn't going to even attempt, attempt to dribble that ball. He, he thought he was going to... Hey, I had faith he might have dunked it. He was going airborne. <laughs> My man thought he was receiving a pass from uh, Matt Hasselback of the oh. Seattle Seahawks, the, the last ball. play of the game. Look, he looks exhausted. He's really not. That's the way he breathes. Look at him. He's Brad, is he wearing dress socks? Like yes, he is. He's, gay. he's going out after this. He, he, he just gave him church. Well, no, he's going out after. He's just going to turn the shirt around so it looks new. <laughs> and clean. All right. He's got one board, no points. But he got a stat. 
The Armstrong saga continues. He got a stat, though, Brad. He does have a stat. Brad, this is his second year, right? He's a junior, right? Correct. Yeah, we got one more season. Yeah, one of more year. <laughs> Just when we thought we got rid of the Scott Riggin, here comes Joe Armstrong. Oh, good idea, but Adrian wasn't paying attention. I don't know. He was in the air. Yeah, he should have put it up. Devin McFarland had the good idea, but he wasn't paying attention. Yes, he should have shot it. Joe Armstrong would have. Going to get his water. Energize. Nice pass. Nice pass. And that's who there, Nesta? Man with the stats. Man with the sheets. Who? Who's the Shaggy right there in the middle. Shaggy. Shaggy. Alan Tam. Shaggy. Alan Tam was the one who committed the travel. He looks up. He's got Iggy. Iggy ain't got the ball. Is that Drew Weiner? Drew Weiner in the game? What number? God, next to Iggy. Got to get these names right. First weekend. 41 is Drew Weiner. Drew Weiner, he's a lefty. It's obvious. And he traveled. That's the most Shelby stuff, right? Yeah. Left took a trip to... Took a trip to... Vegas. Without paying. He's going to Vegas again. He's been to Vegas 87 times last year. All right, That's just, a, what just a little outside. Celtics waiting to empty their bench to get in there and, and, up and, up and fly up. on the score here. There must be a lot of people that had conduct on becoming a Celtic. Yes. I'm guessing that. Mackenzie. There's Shaggy. Not too dope. Shaggy do. Matt Shabelli. I heard possible trade rumors with that Matt Shabelli. What's up with that? Language, language, language. Language, hey, language. 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 Language.
Hey, you got the makeup call. I'm voting nay. I'm voting nay. Actually, actually. Actually, go go yesterday in the uh, season open the Bullets versus the Pistons. The Pistons, they were looking at this uh, point, trying to reach double digits, but that was for the first half. Oh. <laughs> they yeah. one feeling yesterday. Actually, a lot of on my part. For some reason, I forgot. Cherimella bricks it. Violation. We got a nine to nine with five seconds left lost in the first quarter alone. By golly, we're going to do something quick. <laughs> He's got three, he's got two, he's got one. It, it won't go. Couldn't get it to Jackson in time. At the end of the first 10, we have witnessed some of the ugliest basketball that you will see this season. We, but it, we but, saw but I was potatoes. right, I was right. It was gonna be no, no double digits for either team as nine's a wild tip. I will be returning, Brad and Gowerko, I'll be, Brad and Gowerko, I'll be returning back to the cable cast booth because I have to go get some liquid so I could take my antibiotic medicine because I got this busted grill. So I shall be right back. I'm making a joke. I'm oh. sorry. So I'll be right back. I gotta take this antibiotic. It'd be good if I took the medicine. That would help. Yeah. Nesta Dudley's taking drugs. I want to read the bottle. I know what kind of I was always wondering where we got that energy from. I know what kind of drugs you take. Well, they're probably super pills. They have to be. They're bad authorized. Bad authorized? Yes. Alfred makes them in the lab. Yes. You have to follow along. It can be made by Ackman. Actually, uh, I think he's going to look for Batgirl, to be honest. He never takes a break. Hey, what's, what? What does that say? That not says amphetamines. All right, we got a 9 9 score here. No one has the lead, obviously. And it was pretty sloppy, yes. I will definitely say it was you know, not Brad, a good quarter. Last year, beginning of the season, we had some really good games. For the beginning of the season. Yeah, we did. We opened up with a good weekend last year. Yeah. Surprising weekend. A lot of people didn't see certain people blowing teams out. Season was pretty much set at the halfway point anyway. That's true. Adler Sertle in the game. The first inductee from the uh, conduct unbecoming of a Celtic edition. Waiting on Santos and Omondi to come into the game soon. Yeah, Luis, he's going coast. And he hits the back rim. Iggy Gibson, second year returning senior. Almost double pump, no good. Coach is Iggy, a three-year player now. It's his third season. So he is done. Sanchez with the turnaround. No backboard. McKenzie using his size. There it goes. Adrian McKenzie using his size. <laughs> That's the game, a little vote of encouragement right there. I am what back, I had to sneak my Alan soft Tam beverage in too. Gibson with a nice follow. We'll take a from uh, I had to sneak the soft beverage in there. Breaking the rules? Uh, break all the rules. As long as they don't get caught, you can't, it's not a broken rule. Hey, hey, I get hey, 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 stop stealing all the other catchphrases that I stole first <laughs> from, other, from other things. Yeah, but you say it a different way. That's I say you don't break the rule if you don't get caught. Well, it's actually, well, that's pretty much how I say it. <laughs> you reword it. Uh, yeah, All right, I won't say it again. Thank you. Andy made me do it. Your fault, Andy. Yes. The second non-televised game today will be the Kings going up against the Sixers, where the third game will be televised. That's Lakers and Bullets. Here we go again. Well, Nesta hates commenting on those games. Commentating on those games. He probably won't, because you know the bullet rivalry. Too much of a dramatic thing here. There goes Sertel! Hooping the harm on Pierre Luis. What was that? Those Lakers both came back to your heart. Oh, it's not good for my gums today. <laughs> That's why he took bust the, grill. The, the hot medicine. Yeah. He knows he's coming. Like I won't be here for that game either. Oh, that changes things. What do you mean not going to be here that game? I have to go to work. Oh, that changes things. Yes. 
Actually, bring your boss in the cable cast booth. You could do this. Right well, we'll talk to him at halftime. That changes things. You gotta, you gotta work. I gotta work. You gotta go move some office furniture. It's Sunday. This is the Sabbath. That's exactly why I want to work today, because it'd be time to have Hey, have you seen Go Rev Goes Guns? Let him lift office furniture. <laughs> That's wrong. Sure, sure. Well, we're going yeah, to have to try to get a McFarlane. to try to get a camera person for the third game. Oh, I'm sure a I can find one. Camera person and a guest commentator. Mike McQuado, camera. Guest commentator, I can pull anybody in here. Go on, Uh, no. <laughs> well, you did say anybody, Brad. I said I'll pull anybody. I didn't say your choice. Oh. Sertle. Sertle throws it at Charamella. A little too quick. And Magic, the Celtics have a pressing. That they are. They got Paris Christmas in there for the Sonics. Sanchez with the Duke. That's that a travel. That's, that's a definite travel. travel. Gary Rogers saying he didn't move his pivots, but Brad, in actuality, he took three steps. He moved his pivot and then some. You can't switch pivots. You can only use one. Gibson all by you low. Oh, he gave it a Tam. He should have shot it. Charamello. Almost traveled. Skane throws it to nobody. He got scared. Oh, odds on right now. Brad, look at Alan Lamondi. I think he's taking a nap. I think he is. Oh, he just woke up. Yeah, you, you startled him. Uh, stolen by McFarlane. Oh, what are the odds? Uh, which team hits 21st? I'm going with the Sonics. And what? I'm going at the end of the game. Yeah, that's at the end of the game. <laughs> well, I'd have to say for the Sonics, too, but I'm not calling for the third. third call. I think All right, I'm going, I'm going with the team in green. I think they're hitting 20 turnovers. Hit Wait a minute. What's called? What's shit in green? Oh, I have the best best spot? Yeah. Oh, see, that ain't right. See how Go Ref Go called you out there, Brad? He did. He threw me out. Called you to the carpet. All right, I'm going with the Celtics, Bobby. <laughs> Joe, Joe Armstrong's coming in. They're, they're scoring 21st. He's, the he's dropping 15. He's probably going to get 12 now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the Celtics will reach 21st. Joe Armstrong's in the game, and he's ready. No headband. Look at the face, the determination, the raw grit that the boy displays. I'm going with the Celtics. I'm going with the Celtics. I'm going with 20 turnovers before 20 points. If Alan Lamonti gets in that game, the Celtics are on. The Sonics in the first half of yesterday's game played so much better than what they're playing now. Yes. The Sonics are playing better defense right now. And the Celtics don't have two of their starters in the game, and they're still keeping up with the Sonics. Just throwing that out there. So second half might be a totally different game with the Celtics. One of them will contact them becoming a Celtics. Two of them. Conduct on becoming a Celtic. Oh, look at Armandi. Armandi's still sleeping, Brad. Look well, he's a little, he's a little dozy, yeah. He's wrestling on Sertler's uh, shoulders. It's like, wake me up. He'll get there soon. Look, Armandi. <laughs> there, there you go, 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 Armandi. You know, you know, if Armandi's gonna wake up now and then, the least he could do is rub the sleep out of his eyes. Yeah, we don't want to see the little crustaceans in there. Maybe that ain't sleep. Maybe he's crying because he wants to play so bad. I think once he gets in there, he's going to spark this Celtic offense. Even though he's asleep, he's going to spark it. Look at Joe Armstrong. He's jumping like a Mexican bean. Armstrong wants that ball. Cheramella. Look at, oh, what? Oh, he, he knocks Armstrong oh. over, man. <laughs> well, Armstrong... <laughs> Imagine. That's the funny thing. I see a bunch of people go into one oh, spot, and you, and two of them well out. And hey, you got that, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, some, yeah. some tell me that's going to make the highlights, <laughs> even, even though it's in the second quarter. Well, Armstrong was voted most likely to fall down at any given time. <laughs> Magic was about to cry foul, but it was... Yeah, that's how it's like, no it, it was well, like a double no dribble. Teammate. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and Skane is like 30 pounds lighter. Sanchez, turn around. Please. That's the first hoop in quite some minutes. Six minutes gone by, only a total of six points scored. Oh, Armstrong wanted that rebound. That would have been two. Yes, combined. 
nine nine at the end of the first quarter. It's oh, it's thirteen now. Yes. Yeah. Armstrong wins the tap, but goes to the wrong team. The Conrads have entered the building. <laughs> With Brazil. Is Brazil a Conrad? Uh, he does look a little like Paul. <laughs> They're the same height. Almost. Oh yeah. Zertle with the ball. Armstrong's open. He gave it to him. No, I think he lost oh. it. <laughs> Did I tell you the boy's going to spark the offense? But Armstrong is at that line where everything is free. And he's open too. And you know, I know, and Coach Magic knows the butt cheeks going to tighten up right now, and he ain't going to hit a diggity. <laughs> he's going to be too concerned with everyone around him wow. with them dress socks. Watch. Talk about him. Now he's going to look everywhere. He's looking everywhere. Look at him. Why is he looking everywhere but the hoop? Let's see. He's talking about it. He's looking for it. He's coming in for him. Yeah. Someone else should speak over me? All right. He's 0 for 3. Can he do it? How you doing? Can he do it? Yeah. He got. No, he didn't get the rebound. He's over he the back. He violated. He got away for the late violation. Yeah, but he got fouled. He got fouled for the foul. He's a disbelief. Joe doesn't want to come to the side because, no, he's because only three more steps, he's on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that is too good. Yeah. Armstrong's open! <laughs> Magic's going to break his Magic dry erase marker. Magic has officially thrown the pencil away. <laughs> he's thrown it away. He doesn't need it till next season. <laughs> There's no one over there, Joe. Magic screaming at Armstrong to get in position. Oh, four on one. Look at Armstrong's defense caused that. That was Armstrong's hustle that caused that throwaway. <laughs> Gibson, shoot, no good. Who was that? Wasn't Armstrong. He got the ball. Armstrong. Oh, he missed another layup. That looks so good, Brad. Brad, that looks so good. Oh, he should have came down and went back up, but he's Joe Armstrong. He's trying to make it look pretty. Oh, you can't take Armstrong out now. He's sparking the offense. Maybe he won't take him he out. Hit the he hit the rim three times. Give him time. He needs perseverance, coach. Sanchez just takes down Charamella Shaggy. A near tip. Armstrong's on his back out again. Look at the lights. <laughs> That's three times he's been down. Sort of a three. Oh. All because Joe Armstrong's near tip. He distracted everybody by falling down. Armstrong and the looks. stars are calling a timeout. Go ref, go get it on Gary Rogers, because he is disgusted. He, he, oh, there's going to be some. There are going to be some serious, serious swearing in that. <laughs> That's not, did you see it? I'm, I'm attached to the camera. Now. I don't like that. We really know where the. You might, not, you might not come back out alive. That's okay. Why was so I'll pick one for the team. Did you notice what just happened there at the buzzer? Joe Armstrong immediately turned to 360, looked directly at the bench. A player comes on the court named Matt Chevelli of the Celtics, points right at him, and he puts his arms out saying, why me? Right at Magic. And he walked to the hallway, not to the bench. If I was Magic, I would put him in until he got some tube socks. Get out of those dress socks. I told you, he's going out dancing. He's going to turn his jersey around to the dark green. He's going to go out and party. I don't think he took the jersey off since last season. All right, we're waiting on Alan Romandi to get in this game. Hey, I got nothing but love for Joe Armstrong. Oh, you threw it down. It's underneath. You got to bend over and get it. Send Joe down. He's on the bench. He puts the ball oh, on the put floor. It on. Oh, and he missed the bunny. <laughs> Look at Paris Christmas. Christmas. Hey, yo, come on. You got to give him more style there. He did it good. <laughs> One day in Paris Christmas. <laughs> One That's Night in Paris is already owned by Red Light Video. Zertle is gone! I missed it. Magic was on the floor. And that's 16-13 in favor of the Celtics. Minute and a half to go in the first half. 
Sanchez trying by himself. Passes it off the rim to McKenzie. McKenzie, I believe, has six points. First year sophomore with some size. Could be scary in the future. Push off by Pierre Luis on camera. Sertle has sparked this offense. He's going for more. He's greedy. A steal. He saved it. Oh. That looked like a game of volleyball to me. Brad. Celtics were everywhere, though. Sanchez bringing up the ball. Luis to Paris. Ball slowed down. Sanchez again, almost got steps. McKenzie loses Brad, it. when are they gonna call the three seconds? Um, I don't know. Off his leg, Skane. Off the kneecap. Off the kneecap. No, don't we you, don't care about turnovers. We care don't about Don't you just hate those when those kneecaps get in your way, go over if go? And especially, don't you hate when those kneecaps get in your way? He got the steal right. back after he threw it away. No. Jaramella finds an open, Shabelli. Oh, Brad, we gotta get in position. Look at this. It's up in the air. Sanchez can't fit it through. Good if it goes. There it goes. And they made 20 at the buzzer. Hey, look at that. They made 20 before the half. They made 20. And I said the Celtics would make it team. to 21st. I was right, y'all were wrong. I think we need to go there. This is the first in MNBL history. I was just going to say, accents can happen. <laughs> but we did see a lot more intensity from the Celtics. Once Joe Armstrong came back into the game, he talked to Adler Sertle and said, look, you got to carry us. Your five foot four frame needs to go, hit us a three, spark us, get us going. And that's basically what happened. Adler Sertle brought the Celtics back from near death to overtake the Sonic lead and get a lead on themselves. The Sonics are not playing in the same half-court offense that they played against the Lakers in yesterday's game. It was a much more competitive game from the Sonics yesterday in the first half than it was today. That's something I don't understand. Another thing that I don't understand is on the Celtics side, how come Alan Armande and Brian Santos did not see anything, in the, they didn't even smell that court in the first half. Conduct unbecoming of, of Celtics. Celtics. Yes. Um, Magic is one for the strict rules. He did sit Adler Sertle, I guess he missed practice but his conduct was good, so he allowed him to play in the second quarter. The other two probably missed practice and said, bump you, and hence, they're on the bench for the first half. Omondi and Santos comes in, this Celtic offense is gonna ignite, and hopefully the Sonics will turn it up such as they did yesterday. If not, the Sonics are looking at another loss. I have my theory on why those two are, have uh, suffered the contact that they're coming up the Celtics. I'll tell you guys that off camera. Off camera, well, enough. We gotta I can't wait for that. What, they didn't want to share the gizzle music? No. <laughs> they, uh, they didn't want to buy none? They refused to run the score off. Who refused to run the score off? They didn't play yet. I know, but that was when Magic discusses this at the beginning of the season. They said, wait, we ain't doing that. Right? Now, they ain't running out no scores this year. I believe that's what he was famous for last year. Right? Running the score up? Not with this team.
Still a five point Celtic lead. Why it changed during the half? <laughs> it doesn't on this planet, but. <laughs> so, hey, go ref, go. Is this annoying? Only <laughs> <laughs> one thing more annoying than that. <laughs>
Have you been wondering that, uh, like planning that all off season? I, I just thought of that. Like waiting now. for wait, waiting for the off season to end. Now, what are all these soda cans doing here? Oh, one is yours, and who's the other one? One yours. Okay. <laughs> That's why we only allow. I just didn't want my. That's right. I didn't want all my laundry getting wet. I'd rather the laundry get wet than the equipment. Well, Mondi is in the game. I told you. Look at him. He's already I'd causing problems. <laughs> well, actually, no, no, no. I grab the basketball equipment. Well, Mondi and Santos equipment. are in the oh, game. Oh. Sanchez with the ball for the Sonics. My bad. <laughs> yeah. And Andrew, yeah. Huh? Say that Adrian again. Adrian McKenzie. Let me get it right before I stutter again. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Celtics are moving the ball, but they're not moving it around well. They got to spread out a little more. Inside for Armstrong, going for his first two. Gets, gets blocked by Chris Jackson. Inside for Jackson. Sorry, I had to fix something. Whoa! Andy Robinson loves that! Look at Magic. No, Chris! Magic was doing what B.D. Amos did yesterday when he scored. Rolled in his eyes. <laughs> he rolled his eyes. Wow. wow. Uh, check out the uh, scorer's table. Uh, the commissioner has a stand now, a holder for his microphone. He doesn't have to hold it with his hand. We've, yeah. up we've upgraded here in the MNBL. Yeah, right? but we still need a, a more sturdier table. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, think I, I think I possibly have a table at home. It's definitely heavier than that. It's probably sturdier than that. I'm going to have to bring it in. Ball's coming up. McKenzie again. Oh, Blows the bunny. Blows oh, the, the bunny. Joe Armstrong wanted foldable? that rebound. It's foldable. Could it's collapsable. It. Yep. It's a good matchup. Here, Luis I was going to say, because if not, I, my new job is starting today. I could possibly, so, something might possibly fall off the truck. Armstrong every jump ball this year. No. Something might possibly fall off the truck anyway. Well, something definitely fell off the truck. to go in the third quarter. I just, it, I could, it just might happen to be something get that we one. could use it. Kelly up top for the Sonics. Let's put it this way. We have a, a, a triple X kick down if you need. Here, hold this a minute. Triple, triple X. Triple X would be doing his, be, uh, doing his computer work on a brand new computer as an applicant. Joe Armstrong! The pick. Armstrong going for his. He's on his butt again. That's four <laughs> times on the floor. One rebound, no points. I think Armstrong's going to score today, Brad. I feels it. Well, he says he's getting 10 to 15. He's running out of time. Jaramillo, <laughs> look at Armstrong's yelling for it. He's behind him. Armstrong scored, but it doesn't count. So there's the score you're looking for. <laughs> there's Mama. Oh, it became a close game, 24-21, instead of 20-11. Jaramella at the line, and believe it or not, Nesta, I have last year's stats. Brad, you come prepared. Uh, it's, it's unusual. 32%. Are you guessing 32? Uh, no. Hey, no, I, that might be a good guess. That's not what I was talking about, it's for, for his percentage. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> 44 last year, Nick Jaramella. Oh, five seconds, Brett. Yeah, I'm uh, I was guessing, yeah. Kelly almost did it, too. Inside for Jackson. Outside for Kelly. On the line. That's, uh, oh, that was on the line. He gave it to him. No, they said, no he that's what I him. said. No, he waved it off and gave him two. Yes, he did. See, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Mondi ain't passing. Oh, Mondi. He ain't passing. Nice job, Alan. You have to attack the basket. All good. right, Andy Robinson. I know, make up your mind. You're going to root for the Celtics or you're going to root for the Sonics? You clap your hands when Chris Jackson scores. He's an unbiased commentator, unlike you guys. You just don't want to get beat up. That's you shouldn't what be rooting for anybody. Whatever the reason is. We ain't favoring nobody. We predict who we think and whoever wins, wins. I'm cheering for Hustle. Oh, please. Come on. He's all over Joe Armstrong. He's the hustler of the year. Two rebounds! In a hoop, Joe Armstrong! <laughs> That's just in this game, you guys. Two rebounds in one basket. That's I'm talking about fire. If I was Magic, I wouldn't take him out. Oh, heck no. Oh, there it is. Oh, Joe Armstrong should have had that steal. Oh, nice smooth shot by Luis Sanchez there. 
for the Sonics, putting them back down to a two-point deficit, under five minutes to go in the third quarter. That boat will coach on the test and they get the score and picking up this. Armstrong, he going up, uh, he's going down. Uh, he almost did a potsy Weber, Brad. Well, let's hope that he can actually hit a free throw because he is 0 for 4 already. Stop looking at everybody else but the rim, son. Feel the force. Maybe if he rolled down those dress socks. May the, fourth, may the, fourth, may the fourth be with you. white or green socks, it would no, help his son, cause. What am I saying? I said feel the force, he so, uh, feels the force. He's in, he's in the zone, Brad. He I wouldn't take him out. Brad, is force with him? May the force be with him? He's zoning. Oh, is that you? He's going to beat up that ball before anything. He violated his own shot. <laughs> Why would he run in on a perfect shot? But, well, you know what? Because they didn't call it the first half, Brad. That's true. Why would he do that? It was going in. <laughs> Three points, two rebounds. Oh, what a move by Luis. Nice. Oh, Look at four rebounds. Rebound. Oh, he was going to go coast to coast, Brad. Three points, three rebounds. Nice quick Santos. Over. Santos with them quick feet, goes lefty, and he goes up strong. Jackson by, he loads them. Don't. Oh. <laughs> and all the time, oh, oh, is back at oh, time. Looking at the lights. <laughs> all right, we gotta write this down. We need to make a new stat. If Magic takes him out, I'll hit Magic. <laughs> he don't need them. That's the beauty. Santos for three. They're in that Celtic press. Sanchez taking off. That's what he does best. Armstrong stood there and looked at him. He just wanted the board. Oh, I think Armstrong's coming out. Oh, he can't come out. Are you kidding me? Jack Miller ain't doing nothing. We have it on camera. You say you'll hit Omondi. Oh, Mondi. Oh, Mondi. He's got to get heated up. Once he does, the Southern offense will start to flow. But he's got to look for his own teammates, too. Can't be about himself. Chris Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> But that's what he does. He's big enough to do that. What is uh, it? Be saying, sorry, Chris, Chris Jackson. This year, huh? uh, Santos will swing again. Front rims if a Charmel is there. Where's Armstrong? <laughs> Someone needs to get Coach Magic a Valium. <laughs> I almost missed that one. <laughs> Don't be playing, I need to know this. He sat on the floor that time. <laughs> That's gotta go on in the, uh, around the rim this week, uh, Brad. Uh, Which one are we putting on around the rim? All of them. Take it to seat. All of them. Take your time. Come on, Jack. No, I'm sorry. Points boards then, on the floor. Nice job, He's Joe. What's his highest stat? Oh, gee, what a guess. Yeah. He's going to the water cooler. Tough day at the he, office. He's blown up. <laughs> he blew his own his up. The blew it up. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sanchez over to McKenzie. To McFarlane. Stops back to Sanchez. There they go. They, they avoided Nick Kelly, their point out the whole time. Sanchez taking off. He's shooting. He's feeling it. Nice job, Louis. Luis will be the high scorer this year. He's he had a tough game yesterday. Hey, your table that's collapsible, is it bigger than this or same size? I think it's bigger, I'm not sure. Because that's what sure. we need too, is something bigger. Yeah, something bigger. Santos with a nice fake, takes it to the hole, penetrates. Oh, Mondi's going up hard, nice block. Celtics are swarming right now. Jim's having a good game. No pizza allowed for Jim, thank you. Well, he keeps walking, L-O-T. Big sign up front, no food or drink in the gym. Brad, that sign, only, that sign only applies if you can read. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm thinking three letters, you can keep the first two. Jackson. That was all Jackson and Cheramello Scooby. Well, I can see why Shaggy. I can see why Armstrong's always on the floor. Coach Magic has collapsed too. All right, he was looking for the up and down. All right, next time. I find you to be a highly intellectual, intelligent person. And smart, too. That, too. <laughs> well, for those who don't know. 
What is Shaggy's last name on Scooby Doo? He has one. Oh, Santos with a near miss. Oh, they say it once in the I know this stuff. Well, then when they made the movie Scooby Doo, they said it a lot. I didn't see. I didn't see the movie. I'm going with McGillicuddy. <laughs> Why not? I'm a huge. Well, kid. I know it's not Charamella. <laughs> I know it's not Armstrong either. Jackson's goal! Oh, that was. Jackson was going up high. Another jump ball. Uh oh, Adler Sertle got him going What's in the fun? second quarter. Coming back in the game to ignite. What's fun? That Adler's question. Adler's holding on to a two point lead. I don't know. 50 yeah, Brad, seconds what left. What Brad, what, what initiated that question? I don't know. Well, Shaggy Charamella. Oh, okay. That's his nickname, Shaggy. Oh, so it could be. McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm just not positive what it is. If you're not positive what it is, it could be McGillicuddy. I know it's not McGillicuddy. Jackson just hey, he's he's a shoot machine. I'm thinking it's related. <laughs> I think Chris is having fun of that. I think you better get off his back before he calls you his girlfriend. Oh. Well, I'm talking about people's first names, trivia questions. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you going to hit my hat? No did you say uh, Chris goggles. Jackson was a shooting machine? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, I thought you said he was a dancing machine. That would be Michael Jackson. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a free throw machine. Go, oh, Ruba! Wake up, Bobby, wake up! He hits the Amazing. second. Down to a one point Celtic lead. 40 seconds to go in the third. Turned out very slow, picked up very fast second half. I didn't think we were going to reach 40. So far, the Celtics have 15 in the third quarter. You know, my prediction almost came through. The 20, 20 points. Third quarter, yeah. yeah, they just barely got it the last second of the second quarter. They got 20 points to roll in the third quarter. I know. Somebody was Oh, oh Monday with his float up. It's to the hard way. He calls that his floater. It floated? It flow, yeah. He floated. Floated through the air with the greatest of ease. I ain't gonna finish the rest of that song, but only someone else. Uh, any possibility? <laughs> I can mention And I might get hit. <laughs> about to get Ocho. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, like, like a little bit every week, just to build up to it? Yeah. You know, while, the, while they're, uh, Taking a break from playing basketball. I hear there's an awesome show like coming up on I Thursday, March 3rd. Okay. I'm listening. It's at Good Time Emporium. Okay. It's fixes are 21 in 21 plus. Room. This it's is a basketball show? No. This is a wrestling show. Well, you gotta be more specific, oh Refco. I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Um, that was my next line. Alright, I'm out. Metal music. Live professional Wait, wrestling. Yeah. And uh 21 plus, it's going to be at the club at Good Time. Thursday, March 3rd, show starts at 7 o'clock. So if it's 21 plus, I'm assuming that they're going to be serving adult beverages. Uh, adult beverages will be there. And uh, the main event has already been signed. What's the main event? The main event for that match is the for the Othon and Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. For the ghetto champ himself, even though the ghetto title may not be on the line, Trey the Smooth Operating Gangster is going to be defending against Bo Douglas. Bo Douglas, who's Somerville's own? Somerville's own. Tell him about... Uh... Sam. Why? It's already done. Oh, yeah, what about him? It's already done. The third oh. quarter should have with the song for Bo. I can, I can tell you what I think about, you know, afterwards. I am yeah. Evil Andy. I'm taking the place of Brad. Where's Benton? Uh oh. Who isn't representing anymore? Where's Brad? I want to oh, kill him. Man. I want to kill him for handing him the mic. Well, he's, he's got to go eat. He's not representing anymore. And the Sonics turned the ball over. Is he going to find uh, Coach Higgins? And Coach Rogers? I don't know where he's going. Jimmy Gibson brings the ball up. Who's got the second game? That we're not the Kings and the Sixers. That's probably where That's he's going. Sam. Back to Iggy. You know, you know Brad's a mock. He wants to get the autographs before they get in the building. <laughs> yeah, he's going to the concession stand. And what a swipe oh, by Sam. Probably going both. Saves that layup. Who do you see winning this game? Uh, go, ref, go. Uh, Celtics. They're going to call Jackson for over the back. You think the, the Celtics will hold on to the Nestor? I don't know. It's going to come down to the wire. I just don't know. Nestor, did I tell you what kind of music was going to be playing at that show? I don't think you did. What type of music? Uh, there's going to be five, possibly six metal bands. Okay. Heavy metal bands. 
So it should be an event not to be missed. Well, I was assuming it wasn't going to be country western. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it could have been rap. Could have been, but it I knew it wasn't regular rock. I knew it wasn't going to be country western. <laughs> Anything but that. And how is that not true? Why, you don't want no Garth Brooks or George Strait or anything? What's up with that? Oh, the only country western song I have ever liked was With My Baby Tonight. Covered by Jeff Jarrett. You notice how I said covered. Right. By Jeff Jarrett. That was the only country western song I've ever... If that song was out, I would have bought it. I have it. You have it? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, I got a copy of it. That's the only country western song I got to cut. That was a nice <laughs> song. I like that song. Locking way to be alone <laughs> with my baby tonight. <laughs> I, there are other details that I really can't go into on this program because this would not be appropriate. Not appropriate. So uh, for, for further details, go to www.orthanan.com. That's O-R-R-T-H-A-N-N-A-N.com. I was going to ask you to spell that. And the Celtics win the tab. Come on, I'm a good promotion I person. I know something like that you need to spell. <laughs> I even still misspell it every now and then, and I'm part owner. Back to at Diggy. <laughs> nice save. You know, it's good to be back here the first weekend of the MNBL. I get to see a lot of old faces I haven't seen during the off season. Yeah, last season you wasn't here as often as you've been in seasons gone Prime? by. Yes. Uh, work you commitments. Had, yeah, you've had that tough graveyard shift. Don't worry, I took over the helm for you last year, most of the time. I heard. I did a pretty good job. I didn't hear that. Hey, what? He said, I took over the helm for you last year. I said, I heard. And then he said, I did a pretty good job. I said, I didn't hear that. <laughs> last year. I'm only kidding, Andy. We can use all the help of the volunteers that we can get. Give me a break every now and then. Six, six minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. It's a 39-34 game. Celtics oh, the lead. Here Celtics off the he, he probably be here more often. He probably be on his off days. <laughs> 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 you need practice coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas Silla, oh, he's oh, going to blow it. Him. Oh, he did. <laughs> Somebody's cell phone's ringing. <laughs> Why is he playing? Pierre Luis, the nice floater. Do you have your cell phone? Somebody's cell phone is just ringing. It was interfering with the mic on my headphones. <laughs> Back to a five-point lead. Oh, that oh. is a travel. Travel? Well, he's still sleeping. He's looking at the rest. He's looking at the He has to step. He looked at the rest. Dribble, with I mean. that call. Oh, I actually don't know. I don't have the schedule. Luis Sanchez. Oh, and Chris got away with the push to the back just now. So, Sam, I'll buy his lonesome. Oh! I thought he was going to blow the bunny. Play, playing like this, Magic, he might not come to a practice all season. <laughs> yeah. The Celtics extended their lead to seven, and the Sonics are just playing sloppy right now. Nice rebound. Oh, gets a foul, though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be getting going soon too. Soon well, you can say for this game. Soon as this is over, this game is yeah. completed. Oh yeah, yeah. Soon as this is over, because we're not gonna take we're not gonna take the second game and then we're gonna have to find. Some you missed the first free throw. We don't need to break down or they're just gonna leave it the way it is, right? Yeah. We have to find some clientele for Brad for the third game. <laughs> He misses both free throws, but gets his own rebound. Nice hustle. It makes the shot. Who was that? That was 
That was Kelly? She's number three, that's all I know. Nick Kelly. Nice shot. Team Kelly. What? Nick Kelly. <laughs> the Bim. Good joke. Oh, that pass. What? Never there. That was a bunch of LOT right there on Santos. He knows better than making that pass across court. Beat him to the spot. And the foul. It was, it was classic. Classic uh, MNBL early at the beginning of the game during the first uh, hoop in the ham. Mm -hmm. He said, hoop in the ham, you had to hack them the act. It was like hearing all those sayings again, man. <laughs> There's stuff I'm talking about that you missed during yeah. the off season, you know? Especially when you're not really there that much during the regular season of last no. year. Now, if I could have just taken that time. He completes the three point play. For some good use, which is thinking up a catchphrase or something, it would be perfect. He had a catchphrase for like two, three years ago. We just can't remember what it was. <laughs> completed the three point play. There's a lot of confusion on the court, but that's because there's some LOT out there. One of these days we'll remember. The ref would have given him another one. <laughs> The Celtics are standing there with their hands up like, what's going on? Never been Air ball, rebound by Luis Sanchez. Here comes Kelly. Coast to coast and fouled. You want to let him take the lead? I thought you and I called him and said we just was ignoring him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, neither one of us have been saying anything. I'd have been sitting here in pain. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hear you on that yeah. one. Forgot about that. Kelly or Sanchez needs to step up right now and bring this team back. Because it's a close enough game for them to pull out this win. Makes one of two. Hey, I gotta talk to you about that afterwards, too. Right. Another turnover by Iggy Gibson. Oh, and he makes wow, a tough shot. shot! He still went through with it. That's going up strong. But he all by, he loves him. And he both oh, the money! You knew that was gonna happen. It did appear, though, there that Chris Jackson had his hands straight up. Nesta, Nesta you got to tell these the Sonics players got to tell the, uh, or I should say, the Sonics coach got to tell their players that they're gonna stop looking at the refs and giving them Google eyes every time he makes a call. Exactly. They're gonna lose the battle with the men in the black and white striped shirts every single time. Zebras. Free throw shooting has not been good in today's game. They don't call me the hook for nothing. The hook. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know what I'm talking about, I've, right? I've heard about you. You're legendary in the city of Baldwin. You know what I'm talking oh, about, Oh, yes. Right? You're out of here. <laughs> you wind up like Leslie Nielsen from... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> from 30, Naked Gun 30, or whatever, Naked Gun 2. <laughs> You're out of here. Both free throws I tried there. to get to that game this year at Miller's, but I just couldn't get there. That was a good game, too. I, I just couldn't get I there. I think I checked somebody that game. Oh, I tried to get there, but there was a, a girl. I did check somebody. Chris there was a girl's I, uh, softball banquet. Matter of fact, I did Beanie. check somebody that game. You missed a good game. I had a, I had a play at the plate. Beanie Amos had invited me to watch it, you know, to the uh, cookout of his um, of his uh, well, it was girl's your, softball. It's your temperature. It's nice and warm up at that point in time, but. Yeah, and I and you were up, you, know, at, you were up at and from he, bug tussle. And he invited me to free eats. It was so funny because he invited me to a barbecue, and he wasn't even hosting the barbecue. That's, That's funny. He invited me. Let me tell you what happened. It was a play at the plate. Okay. Kid come in with his arms up. So I called him out for uh, but for uh, intent to injure. Yes. But I didn't throw him out of the game. The coach comes up and argues with me. All oh, those other coaches took because the other coaches were complaining that I didn't call it. So he says. You know, and, and, and baseball part, and the, the best thing is to get the call right. Talk it over, get the call right. I talked with my partner, I talk, called him out. That was the right call, I firmly believe. May not have been the right time for it, but it was definitely the right call. So the coach comes in, the other coach comes in, starts arguing with me, saying, oh, 
you those other coaches talk too into that. That's this. That's that. That's this. You know, cutting out the bleep, the uh, profanity. Seal it. <laughs> Did you actually say, East, see you later? Actually, yes, I did. I said, see you later, <laughs> coach. You're on here. Oh, we got to get, get to win those baseball games. That, and then, and then, then the insults really started flying because now he's thrown out of the game. He's going to get his money's worth. <laughs> Chris Jackson makes his second free throw. I was like, seven attempts. It's always in the, uh, I don't know how many attempts, but uh, it's always an event with go ref, go umpires at baseball games. It's either two of five or two of seven. Over the back, over the back. Luis Sanchez to tie the and the game is tied. The Sonics have tied. I agree with that, by the, the way. That wasn't over the back, yes. That wasn't over the back, yes it was. But the guys in black and white did not see it. That that was. So therefore, it technically wasn't. Exactly. The ref is always right. No. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, Unless he's wrong. I wouldn't go that far. They got him for block. And one. Was that a makeup call? Uh, I just think that was a bad call. What would you say, uh, Nesta? Mechanical referees. Say it again. So what would you say to mechanical referees? Mechanical referees. Officials in sports and all around in general. Some sort of, uh, not mechanical like as in robots, I mean like, you know, machines in the game. Oh, oh, mechanical referees. Oh, uh, no, you still want to have the game with, with human error. I'd rather go with the human error than mechanical error. So are you against the, um, that West Tech system in baseball? Say it again. So are you against that West Tech system in baseball and instant replay in football? Instant replay in football, I, I like the way they do it. So the way they do it, it is efficient. In baseball, they should do that. What about the West Tech system? Well, I'm not familiar with that. What's, what's okay, it's something that, it's a, it's a computer that analyzes get pull up and hit three. where the ball goes oh. over the plate and the, nice. whether or not it's in the strike zone or not, and then analyzes whether or not the umpire got it correct. But hits a two anyway. I actually like that. But it well, is don't that, forget, it's 49, from the 48, under a minute to play in this game. A strike zone is that by Diggy. interpretation. Oh, no one stepped out in front of I would Diggy. think only in the uh, postseason to do something like that. They do it all year round, especially in the postseason. They do not need a three immediately. Like they I would like need to a quick see some score. Of, uh, but not every park has that system in place yet. Oh, a bad Fenway pass. Park is a West Tech system. Oh. They're using that to base whether or not they should bring instant replay into baseball. And for, and for, and for what? I think, inst I, think, I think whereas the baseball season is so long that they shouldn't do instant replay during the regular season, but definitely in the postseason. So you think... Well, you don't think the call, you don't think the, the umps got the, those calls right during the uh, Red Sox-Yankees series? What calls are you talking about? I think... Definitely, you must be talking about the A-Rod chop. They definitely got that call that right. Call but the thing was, though, yeah. that first ump called him safe. And he was totally blocked by McCavich. Exactly. Because that was his call. It was his base. It was his call. But he still didn't see it. Exactly. He was totally blocked by McCavich. That's why he went for help afterwards. That's, they teach you in umpire school. You but make the, the call, and you call time, and you go to help. Go is that help. what he did? Did he call That's time and he went for help? Yes, he, he, for help. yes he did. He made the call, the play was finished, he called time, it was an official's timeout. He has not been good at the long You know, you can't not make a call in case the case the play needs to proceed. Yeah. What killed me about that whole thing was um, Jeta was in the dugout, but Jeta was playing to the camera the whole series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a three-point game he under was in the 20. Dugout and everybody Without. in Yankee Stadium and everybody who was watching that television set saw that play with the exception of one person, Jeta, because Jeta was running home. And he's in a dugout going, safe, safe, safe. He was safe. Derek, you don't know. You were doing the right thing. You were running home. You did not see the play. <laughs> and he's going to one Yankee Stadium yelling he was safe. <laughs> the only one who didn't see it. Well, we got 16 seconds left in the game, uh, Nesta. You might want to get down there. 52-49. It's actually a pretty close game here. See what's happened. Well, 53-49. Huh? Definitely. Brutally quick. Hey, that's the that's the subtitle title for uh, the show on my third. Maximum brutality. It's 53, 49, under 10. And that could be three. 
I'm trying to check it back into the game. Last six seconds. Six ticks left to go. I don't know what strategy this is. He certainly doesn't need the time. And he yelled, and he yelled with pride. I'm in. Put me in, coach. So you made the first and the missed the second one? No, you had to take ball. No, then he why would you call Two seconds left. Why not hold the ball? And they are Another foul now. And that wow. The thing about absolutely, that's what I said. The thing about that, the thing about that play is the man that Magic made a substitution for and put him on the floor had it in his hands. They got ripped out of his hands. Oh, there's one. You missed. You got to miss the second one. If you're if you're a Hope Celtic, why would you why would you foul? Oh, no, I'm just, oh, I'm just painfully waiting for this game to end. <laughs> now, so you have to admit, this did turn into quite a close game. Well, like I said, it was a close game, and uh, Iggy could put it away. He makes the second when this game's over. But I think you miss it intentionally, just let the time run off the clock. You never miss it intentionally. They do a good job. That's the game. game is over. They good. They do a good, they go do, they do a good job missing on their own. And this game will end. Celtics are four points better than the Sonic score, 55 to 51. The Sonics just had too many turnovers, too many missed free throws, and too many missed layups today to win this game. This game was a good game, though, but very, very sloppy. Both coaches, I'm sure, are going to have a lot to say to their team in the locker room. I'm out. Oh! oh. With that, we're out of here! Persistent.